Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Wildermyth and the Adventures of the Lords of Pretension. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Can't you just explain? I came to get you for a reason, you know. There's a big old, is a big old hero really whiny about a hill? What? I'm not big or old. Look at you! With a glow, it's still out there, see? A little south of yeah. What am I supposed to... Oh. A green-gray smudge disturbs the distance. <laughs> what do you think, Mithrun? Is it something? Well, Elsie, I'll tell you what. I think it's him. The old Mothman? Would he advise his position like that? Plainly out of the day? It's not his style. Sure, but why do people burn flag leaf? They have no other option. Ugly way to treat a summer sky. Certainly looks similar to the signal he raised when we were looking for you. Well, it's a trap. Yeah. Even so, Elsie, Arrowright is the one who called your attention to it, right? Remember who her sister is. You have ever, you have any reason for believing it's our Mothman? It's almost like I can read his signature. The shade of the light. I can feel him coming out to me. One day I shall come and tell you everything. It is. Someone should go, otherwise, I'll just be one more thing we- it'll just be one more thing we don't know, and I must know everything because I'm Mithrin. That's a fair point. Um. Elsie enters quietly from outside. I'm not one of you, but I'll just say. This mothman, whose intervention is what led to my rescue ride and the others you saved. Let me go, I've been training for this. I owe it to him. Elsie? Yeah, when it comes down to it, I'd rather not sit here punching my toes. Especially because one of them is on fire. <laughs> Whenever we meet out there, we've shown we can handle it. Ha ha! Hey, did you hear me? We did. Yes! You don't want to go out there, Elsie. We bleed out there. Face nightmares. It's... But, Ubatar, she's ready. Elsie's experienced things might have broken any of us. She's survived. She's worked and made herself strong. We don't have to send her by herself. But maybe it's time to bring her along. Is she going to join our party now? Do you not trust me? Well, I understand that you're fighting my, who used to be my sister, but I, I've grown up in a different world than you. You fought the battles, yeah, but we, we all suffered. That's not your fault, it's just we didn't get a choice. I'll tell you, when we were down there, it all felt inevitable. One by one, our doom would devour us, turn us into monsters. But my memory of that time is blurred. I remember the hideous blue light, the hidden purple door, and the the smell of rotten leaves, my sister's voice. I'm not afraid to evoke her name, Aluna. She promised I'd make it home again, and thanks to you I'm here. Today I'm ready to choose my fate and face the things that forced us out to suffer. Forced my sister to change, so please. I've heard enough. I'll vouch for her. You go find a proper weapon. Look, this isn't your proving ground. Our lives are in the balance. Sorry. What should we do? I don't know. Bring her along, I guess? Yeah, we already have too many party members, but... Yeah, well, we can just... Gish uh, Thanks, honestly. I'll try to earn my place. I guess that's that. Prefer well and no one's doubts will matter. 
Helps her find a piece she's comfortable wielding. And soon the company is assembled, pursuing the strange signal that glows, fades, and reappears behind the hills. If anyone goes slow, they get left behind. Wait, so, okay, so she's now in our party. Okay. Is she? Uh, we have too many party members. Well, we can just, like, not take her into battle with us. Save the Mothman. Why do we want to save the Mothman? He's an ass. Oh, there's a suspicious amount of the map missing. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's think of the party. What oh, means? she's a warrior. Yeah, she is not coming. Uh, where are our mystics? Oh, they're down there. Should we take Mithrin or Apathos? Oh, Mithrin hasn't gotten very much action. What does he do again? I don't know. Fire. Know. Okay, well, maybe he can, like, like work with the Ubatar or something. I don't know. And you two... Are gonna build defenses? Yeah. Sorry, we're leaving you with Apathos for company. I know he's not very fun, but... Oh. But... No, a promising distant clouds of dust or rain drift in the late sky. Wind drags and is closed and the windmill roars. <laughs> I like how you didn't check with me before doing this. Well, remember, there's always a choice at the end. What do you mean there's always a choice at the end? What? What do you mean there's always a choice? In opportunities, you can always choose to whether to follow the opportunity or not. Well, that's not at the end, and they don't always offer you that. Out here is the wide world I was born to roam, and this feels right. The last look at fading day as she goes in, and especially vicious gust fights her all the way to the entrance. Ah, the door. Lloyd Serpent Mask pulls the door closed. The mill keeper is a man named Bronvir. A stranger to them, he's provided shelter anyway, and now comes from his cellar with a jug of cool dandelion tea and cups. What a wind, and wouldn't you know, it's no grain to grind. Oh, because he's a miller, okay. Yes. What is up with his hair? At least it's quieter, you should hear it when it, the big wheel's gnawing. Dandelion tea reminds me of fall time. Foraging for roots, pushing kids into mud root. Songs for banishing badges. Thank you for everything, Bronvere. I'm fine, I'm happy for the company's stories. Future Queen of Castile has told her already worth whatever hospitality I've given. But are you two still set on staying just the night? Oh god. Lord Serpent Mask pulls out the poster she found pinned to a tavern door in relation. Think you're a hero dreaming of glory? Dream no more. I'm Brianna Swiverheim, and we need you. Come to the land heroes forgot. Bring a new age of hope to the needy. I'm needed elsewhere. Wait, we're on this mission to... Better weather. Yeah, what the hell? We're in the middle of something. We're trying to do it quickly. Yes. The flickering signal had shown overhead just a few days prior. Then it disappeared. I think we're close to where it was. There's a cliff like an upturned boot we were seeing right up there. Here's something that might interest you. I'm good for something, see? The Mothman's mark flashes a soft silver in the canyon light. He was here, and either he moved on or something came and took him. Just then another distant signal rises. What a game are we playing? The journey begins anew. Oh god. Save the Mothman. Uh. 
Right, so where is he? Oh, here he is. Okay, you can build some defenses here now. <laughs> Apathos does not care. <laughs> the signal appears to be lowering as they come near, but it's not completely gone. Movement under us. Feel that? Is that worth saying? Oh god, it's the... The what? Worms. Wait, Mithra, the crowd feels like it's full of bees, right? What? Just a little further. Bees. Alohas fills the stones. Tearing forward, they're startled with, at what they glimpse. There's... His harrowed face verges on unfamiliar. His clothes have run shabby and limp. But before they can even cry out. Whoa, wait! A blast of wind and light rips into the sky. In its wake, only silence and drifting dust remains. You okay? He's gone. Is he running from us? Uh. Yep. Yeah. Or from that. Oh my fucking god, way too many of you. Escape, optional. Defeat all enemies, optional. How do we escape? Probably by going here. Yes. Past all these enemies. Uh, well, how do you want to handle this? I mean, we can try moving in that direction, but... Oh, that's one of those things that creates the ground yeah. problem. We have to get rid of them first. I feel like we've got to get rid of the worm first. Oh, that's right. You have the ability that makes everybody stealth. Maybe escapee would have been. Oh no! You got. You can't light things on fire. Why can't he? Oh, what well, he has the stupid tree thing. Yeah. Well, he just pinned everyone. I think once we get rid of that worm, it should be fine. Well, until more worms show up, because that's a thing that might happen. Yeah. God, shredding all my armor. Okay. I have a cunning plan. Oh, and what is that? I'm gonna get everybody to move around Mithrin. Oh shit. So this this is the goes the same way that cunning plans usually do. Uh
Oh, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so now how do we get past everything, though? Uh, who knows? <laughs> oh, shit. What? Uh, so the thing is that... Huh. See, but now he's... Yeah. That was the thing I was saying, because... Uh, dude, stop being so... Because they auto-sentinel, they uncamouflaged. Yeah. Stop! He's, like, wandering off. I know! I rather thought I might fight on the enemy's side. Which is not exactly what's happening here, but you guys are like stupidly fucking up everything. Oh! Maybe we can get everybody else through and just these two can like stand in the back and sentinel. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, you go over there. Sixteen damage. Why are you on fire now? <laughs> wow. Oh my god, stop spreading my armor. Okay. And you want a silk step. What? Felt like he just cheated there. Oh my god. Well, that's a problem. We gotta get rid of that thing. Uh, right yeah. Of Let's see if we can do this again. Oh, you're just gonna die from the first hit. Okay, that's fine. So we're out of time. Let's just go a bit over. We don't know how much over we're gonna do because we still have to do all of that and then there's talking. Oh, should we? Yeah, we have to. Um, so yeah.